Well, Michael Flynn was forced to resign. Some say fired. And I think this is the first big, giant, tragic mistake of the Trump administration. He might as well... It really, he almost should just give the presidency over to Hillary Clinton at this point. <laughs> I don't really understand why he would, why he would do that, especially when it's all based on this Russia red baiting. When did the Democrats become the McCarthyite Republicans of the 1950s? Because that's what they are right now. And Dennis Kucinich, I'll try to find it and leave the link down below. Again, not that many people see my videos, but I have a channel and I might as well I might as well use it however I wish. So Dennis Kucinich got it exactly right. It's you know it's probably about a new Cold War that can promote um, well spreading money around through the military industrial complex and to this agency and that agency within maybe the intelligence agencies and things like this. Or it could be worse than that. It could be that they actually want to confront Russia, which is very, mm, it's, it's almost incredible. This has been going on for a long time. But this is his first giant strategic blunder and he's so erratic is part of the problem. He should have backed Flynn, and I don't know what they said to him, and I don't know who said what to him. So I don't, I'm not, I don't know all the details. To, you know, we know that things are pretty ugly and can be pretty ugly, and who knows what uh, somebody said or did to get Trump to sort of fire Flynn. But um, no, this is this. I think this could be. We never know for sure these days. Everything is topsy turvy. We don't know really what's going to happen. But I really do think this is the beginning of the end of the Trump administration. When you start giving your leeway, like this, this much leeway to your quote unquote enemies, the quote unquote opposition, it becomes like. Uh, shark smelling blood in a feeding frenzy so he seemed like he was actually could have been a strong president you know and now he seems like a very weak president after this it's how it seems I could be reading it wrong <sighs> particularly even support Trump, really, it's just that the other side is so awful. The so-called resistance is not the resistance at all, and that's what people need to understand. The so-called resistance is neoliberalism. It's the Democratic Party. It's the establishment. It's, the, it's half or more of the Republican Party. It's the same people who have driven us into poverty and caused war after war for, year, for years and years now. And, you know, even though I'm not a supporter of Trump, anything to break that cycle is a good thing. But one month into his presidency, and it looks like it's hard to say the cycle will be broken. We'll have to see who they can get to replace Flynn. There was one bad thing about Flynn. He wanted to start trouble with Iran, but at least he wanted to keep us away from trouble with Russia. And everything they're saying is a BS thing just to get just to get Trump. That's all it is. I mean, there's nothing more to it. All right.